Hello everyone, I'm going to start a new series about platform analytics. You probably know that platform analytics are merged with that reporting module as well as the performance analytics module. So I'm going to start a new series on that. Um, so I'll talk about that. What is the platform analytics, how we can use that. So in this video, I'll show you that how you can create this type of dashboard uh, with the help of platform analytics. And then you can do filtering on that and then how we can create interactive filter in your platform analytics. All these things I'm going to discuss in this video. And after that, I'll discuss more about that platform analytics. To start with a simple user, I have chosen a user called Evil Tutor. And in this user have only one group called network groups. And then if you see that in the left side, the role the user have only SNC internal role. So I'm going to start a user who have only SNC internal role and have a one basic groups. That's it. So let's see that this, if I impersonate this able tutor, how this user behaves into the, our platform analytics. So let me first impersonate this able tutor first and I'll just show you that. I have just impersonated able tutor user and you can see that the username called able tutor and in our here. Now what I'm trying to do that if I search with called platform analytics, Let's see that what we are seeing. So as you can see that if you impersonate a or if you are acting a SNC internal user, you will be able to see the platform analytic. So it means that a user with minimum role SNC internal can react with the platform analytics. So now if I go back here under this platform analytics and open that first module called Plat analytics center, you can see that I have a ability to create a new dashboard. It means that a user with SNC internal role can create a dashboard. Now, after that, you can go to this dashboard module and under this dashboard module, you can see all these dashboards are present uh, for you. Like you can see the my assets dashboard, um, other like owned by me or share with me, all this we can see that. Also, if you can go to this data visualization, uh, you can see that uh, you can you have a button called new button. It means that you have ability to um, create a data visualization here. So what is the data visualization to high level that if you recall uh, that the performance analytics and then report module and then platform analytics, everything is merged in a single application. Now you can create uh, reports, you can do performance analytics, everything under platform analytics. Now the report module or you can say the report is renamed as a data visualization. So we could say that report equal to data visualization. So we can create data visualization here. Now after that, you can see the indicator. What is the indicator? Right now in a high level, I can say that indicator is nothing but a uh, performance analytics element formula based or um, derived based data that can get data from your past date. So it can show you the trend. Um, so report show you only um, the current data, but indicator or performance analytics show you that all this past data analysis that past data and then show you that data. We'll discuss that in a depth after some time. But as you know that we have an indicator and if I open a simple indicator, um, you will be able to see that all these formula are there, um, other stuffs. But as you can see that this indicator we can only use, we cannot, uh, you know, we cannot create any indicator. As you can see that as a basic user, SNC internal user, you cannot create any indicator. You can only use the indicator. Okay. So that's what you have permission. And I'm going to show you the example of the incident details. So uh, most of the people ask, why do we show that incident related information? Because most of my audience or user who only starts your career with the incident problem change. So they know they are very much familiar with the incident problem change this table. So I'll go for that incident table. So let's see that if I search for the incident table, is that SNC internal user have this access to the incident table? Yes, the user have SNC internal user have a incident table, but they cannot see the data at that moment. Um, they can, they could have see their own data or maybe catalog item. Uh, let's say that if I create a uh, data here, can I see my data? If I submit that and let's see that is I'm able to see the incident data or not. All right, so you can see the incident data that you have been created, but you cannot see any incident that is assigned to your group or something like that. Okay, so you can see only incident that is assigned to you. So uh, that is created by you. So if I go back and open this incident module, right now I should be able to see only one incident data, which is definitely I created right now. So what I'll do, I will add the user um, 
to couple of groups and to better visibility i'll think about that able tutor is a manager and he want to see something about that his related data so let's see that i'll end this impersonation for the timing as you know that able tutor have already uh, part of a group called network group so if i go back to the incident table you can see that we have a network group we have a service desk group so so it means that the able tutor is part of this network group but still he is not able to see any incident so what i will do i'll add itl role to this able tutor so that he can at least see that incident related information so under this service desk assignment group i added the itl role if i add that service desk group here uh, the able tutor should be able to uh, if i add the help desk um, group here what will be happen the able tutor will be automatically inherit the itl role so let's see that I just added these uh, able tutor to these groups called uh, help desk and if I refresh that able tutor should be able to see all the or add all these groups. So if I open this help desk group you can see that I'm just following the service now best practice that service now says that we should always add the group not the role directly. So as you can see that this help desk group inherit or have the ITL role and once I added these um user able to utter to these groups uh he already get this itl role okay now let's impersonate that it uh, able to utter user and see how he are able to see this incident i have just impersonate able to utter user as you can see and now if i go back to that incident again and see that what all incident able to utter able to see that now here if i see that right now he is able to see all this incident um either he is assigned to this incident or not but he at least see all this incident so here our platform analytics started what we want we want to create a dashboard so let's go back to the platform analytics first and then i'll go to this analytics center and then i'll create a um, dashboard here so let's say that my team dashboard okay i created a new dashboard and once you created a dashboard you can see these types of ui uh, render for you now you can create multiple tabs um you probably seen that um, as a dashboard there are multiple tabs component are available so you can create a multiple tabs also okay so we are going to create uh, you can see that uh, here you can add that element and then here you are right now in uh, editing mode you can exit the editing mode you have a settings bar you have a info icon so we'll add first our element the first element i'm going to add called heading to looks like uh, very nicely so i'll add a heading in the top you can change this heading like here you can change this label this text are rendering from here it's a default text you can change the style to hero or any of this um, depending on your use case uh, you can change that based on your customer requirement so we just added first our heading now next thing is that i am going to add um first report my first report okay so what report i want so let's open that incident table side by side so i'll open that incident table in that um, uh, right side the first i want to see the incident count that is assigned to my groups so i belongs to one group called network and in this network groups we have a five incident so i should first see into that how many incident is created for my group so let's do that so i'll go here and then i'll go to this data visualization i can create a new data visualization so once you do that you can see that data visualization card is added and here you can define type of data visualization or you can say type of uh, how you want to see that first i want to see the number of count okay so i want to see that how many incident is created for my group so the type will be single code score and then here i need to define the data resource okay from where the data should be fetched so our okay, case the data should be fetched from where the data should be fetched from the incident table so let's spook that so I'll go here, add this data source. And here you can see that you have a two options called indicator. What is the indicator? As I said, the indicator is used for the performance analytics. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but we can select the table also. So here all the table are present. So our case, the table name called incident. So we'll select that table name called incident. 
will select the table name called incident. Once you select the incident, you can see that preferred condition. So it's some are already predefined condition are showing here. So you can pick any of these condition here from your uh, predefined condition or else you can put your own custom condition. Okay. So for our case, you can see that if I show match with the network, uh, so because I belongs to the network or the ability tutor belongs to network. So this is the network and in this three incident are closed and two incident are in progress. So what we can do here, we can put custom condition. So what is the custom condition? So say that assignment group and let's say that if we can select the dynamic yes we can select the dynamic and can we say that my groups yes one of my group so we can select that i want to see all this incident that is belongs to my group and here you can see that if i run that filter i should be able to see these five incident that are belongs to my groups okay so these five incident are belongs to my groups okay so we just added that and then we can put like add this source okay so we added a source we can go to this edit here again and then here you can see this is your conditions here you can edit this condition later all or you can add this some fields or columns i'm not doing right now after you selected that uh, your correct data or you can see the correct data source we are able to actually fetch the number of incident r that belongs to my group okay here under this header you can put some title so let's say that my group incident we can put that and here you can see it's automatically rendering in the top okay so this way you can actually render your um, group data um so we can see that so this is how we can render that so let's add one more element so i'll click here and then go to this data visualization again and i'll click the new data visualization and this time that type i will select call um let's say i'll select call vertical bar okay so in the vertical bar, what i am looking for i am looking for that uh, in this incident how many incident are closed state how many incident are in progress state so let's try to do that so i'll go here and then i'll click this as you can see right now it's showing the suggested so suggested is it was not showing earlier right now it's suggesting me to select that incident because we have recently selected a, a data source from the incident table so we can see that we can select that suggested table once we select that you can see that uh, i can select the predefined or else we can select the conditions so we'll select that assignment groups call um, problem is that for not using this uh, data source or you can say predefined condition is that each and every time you have to select the table name you need to select this condition so we'll select that condition and then after that we can see that right now it's grouped by with that active field we'll just group by with our um state so we'll group by with the state so we'll select that state and then we'll just apply that so what will be happen it will be breakdown with the state you can see that it's breakdown with the state and here how it looks like that you can increase that size depending on your use case okay all right now in this case um you can do more settings there are multiple settings are there so basically you can um add title here in that you can change this right now you can see it showing that two here it showing the three to total five incident are there in the matrix you can go to this formatting value you can do that or else you can go to this edit and then instead of this count you can uh, sum that like how much day it spent or something like that you can do that all right so let's add one more new element so we'll go here and then go to this data visualization again and we'll click the new data visualization and this time instead of single score we are going to select uh um, here called under this time series we are going to select uh, let's say that line or column so we'll select the line so what time series allow us to train to that okay so we can do that so we'll go here we'll select the data source again we'll go to this incident again we'll put this condition preferred condition called assignment group
you can see that we have a trend by and in this trend by we will select call uh, created so we'll search for the created so we want to know that when it was created the trend and then we can change this to quarterly apply that so that which quarter uh, which incident got created and you can see that it's showing the trend here we can change this type to column to a much better view under this trend and this is how it show right now so this way you can actually trend the data that's it now you can see that we are able to uh, interact the data we are able to um, see the data what we can do finally you can save this dashboard here and you can go to this exit more exit your um, edit mode and here is your data uh, dashboard is available so in this dashboard it looks much better than earlier you can change their size all this uh, you can go here and then you can um, share this dashboard to anyone you want to share that like the way we shared the dashboard earlier again you can go to this edit mode and then add that our um, more data visualization if you want to add here now i'll talk about that one of the another element called filter so let's say that based on some filter what is the filter based on the state i want to filter these um, like interactive filter we used to do right so based on this filter like state i want to do this filtering so we'll go and then select the filter we'll click the new filter and i want to put the filter top here so we'll put the filter here so we'll just move everything on the bottom so the filter size got increased and here you can um, select that filter type called select single select multiple select yes no depending on your case so i'll select the single uh, select and then here you can select the radio button or pill so you can choose that radio or pill and then here we'll put the label called state um you can do anything and then here you need to do the data source we'll go and then add the data source what is the data source we are trying to fetch the state of the incident table so we'll search the table name called incident so we'll search for the incident and then after that we need to select the element for which element we were trying to interact so our field name called state so we'll select that uh, field is state that's it we'll apply that drop down is visible called state and it's showing that uh, showing us to select that if we go and change this exit mode we should be able to select that state of this incident we can select that state of this incident like uh, new and apply that and you can see that it's automatically filtering based on my selection you can see um you can select that um you know closed and then apply that and you can see it's filtering based on my selection and you can clear that if you want to clear that and all these filters are cleared when you select any of these condition let's see in progress and click apply you will be able to see that one filter icon is applied so it means that the filter is applied on here so this way you can create a simple dashboard for your user or for yourself to see that data into the platform analytics in our upcoming video we'll talk more about the platform analytics thank you very much have a great day